Hi guys, Jordan here and welcome to Regular Tech Reviews. Um, I want to quickly review the GoPro Hero 8 Black, uh, which is this one. Uh, it's really bad. Um, I hate it. Uh, I've had quite a few GoPros over my time and I very much hate this one. It's really annoying and it has all these little glitches and annoying things and it's just quite frustrating. Most recently I had a GoPro Hero Session, which is like the compact version of the Hero 4. Um, and in terms of this one, it's like two to three times as much and the improvements aren't that much. Sorry about the noises in the background. That was Ned eating his jumper. Some of the pros of this GoPro are that it can film um, that's really it. The, the, the negatives include um, every now and then it turns itself on and drains its battery for no reason, which is lovely. We love that. I've also noticed that the battery has seating issues. So like it's, it's kind of like free floating inside there. So every now and then um, you'll have to like open this side thing and then just like push down the battery a bit and then close it again just to make sure that like it will turn on. Um, which is a huge design flaw um, because like to plug in to charge you need to open this um, I hate that that's great um, you pretty much need the media mod to make the microphones functional um, which is annoying because I use it on like a helmet mount and then that makes it really bulky and just really frustrating it doesn't connect straight away to if you plug in a, a USB-C to a, to a Mac computer, you need another a, a, a third-party program. Um, so it has Mac compatibility issues, which is fantastic. Um, the the Hyper Smooth uh, is not as good as the as the um, proprietary one on on the Sony cameras, which are cheaper. Um, so th that's annoying. And also, it has like when you're connecting to the app. It just is extremely inconsistent um, and often doesn't work and um, yeah it just has these weird connectivity issues in which you have to turn your phone off and on again for it to connect and it I've used the same app on the same phone on a, a number of different GoPros and it's all been fine until this one um, and apparently on the forums people are saying you know they went and uh, got a different GoPro, they returned this um, after speaking to GoPro support and they got another one and had the exact same issue. Um, uh, not sure what it is, um, you update the firmware, it's all up to date and it just has these connectivity issues where it says like uh, I couldn't find the Wi-Fi or whatever. So um, I've seen a number of reviews about these bad boys where the people are saying it's bad. Um, but there are really quite a few issues with these things and um, it's, it's just annoying. Uh, they're really expensive and the software on them is crap and the, the design with making this battery just kind of like free float is horrible. Um, and it's just like to charge it you need to open this side thing and plug it in there when before it was just as waterproof and you could plug it in from the side so like I don't know I just uh, like I do know it's horrible and it's expensive and it's not as good um, as they used to be so um, I probably wouldn't recommend getting one at all thanks for listening